this is Anita Greenland bringing you Express Desk Stretch, stretching your mind, your body, and your breath. So I've got a few questions for you. Let me ask you, is your daily schedule packed to the brim? Do you get frustrated when you don't get everything done on your to-do list? I know that's me. I got a yes there for sure. How about do you get anxious waiting in line, even if you don't have a pressing need to be somewhere? So if you answered yes to any or all of those questions or anything along those lines, you might have a case of hurry sickness. And it might sound like a made up disease, but it's not. It is actual a diagnosis that is out there because really our society just puts such a, a high value on go, 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 do, 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 do. But really what they don't realize is by go, 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 going and doing, 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 doing is it leads to stress and fatigue and burnout and ultimately a lack of productivity. And so this week's or this month's episode is all about slow your role because the better job that you do of just taking those little breaks along the way, actually the more productive and the more effective that you are. And you just show up better as a human being, quite frankly. And so our focus, like I said, is slow your role. And so we will do some stretches utilizing your desk chair. So these are little breaks that you can take right in the office to rejuvenate and re-energize and, um, and ultimately be that productive person that you want to be. All right. So I will see you there. So as I mentioned, everything that we're going to do today is from your chair. And we will start with a couple of sun salutation A's. So scooch up, scooch your um, uh, glutes, your buttocks to, towards the edge of your chair, ground down in the four corners of both of your feet, and then reach your arms up towards the ceiling, inhale. And then exhale, take a big swan dive down. As you exhale, then halfway lift, bring your torso parallel with the floor, inhale, and then forward fold again and then come back up to an extended mountain. And let's do that one more time. Just getting a little bit of blood flowing here. Forward fold, halfway lift, forward fold. You should feel some opening in your lower back there and then all the way back up to extended mountain. All right, so we're gonna work on opening up your, your chest and strengthening your back a little bit because we spend a lot of time hunched over, over a keyboard of some sort. And that ultimately can create uh, a lot of stress in our body. And so bring your arms up into cactus arms and then press your elbows back. So you really draw your shoulder blades in towards your spine and then bring your elbows together. So inhale, open up, press your arms, elbows behind you, and then exhale, bring it together. So let's do that four more times. Inhale, open up. Exhale, bring your elbows together. This time, take your chin up towards the ceiling. Inhale, reach your chin up, little baby back bend there, and exhale, elbows together. And two more. Inhale and exhale. Last time. Inhale and exhale. Very good. All right. So, continuing though with your chin, moving your chin up and down, I'm going to take you, bring your chin down towards your chest. Feel some good opening in your neck and then take your chin up towards the ceiling. Inhale when you do this. Exhale when you bring your chin to your chest. Inhale, chin to sky. One more time, chin to chest. And now chin to sky. And now you're going to take your, as you bring your chin to your chest, you're going to pull the pit of your belly back towards your chair. So notice I'm rounding out my spine. So that should feel really good on your back. So, uh, and then you're gonna lift your chin up towards the ceiling and press your chest forward, pull your elbows by your rib cage. So this is a cow pose. And then this is a cat pose. So let's do a few more rounds of that. So inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Last time, inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Now, if you want to, wanted to do that outside of the chair, then all you have to do is stand up 
and take a cat pose and a cow pose, just like that. All right, so that would be an option of doing this out of the chair. Okay, now we are going to uh, take a warrior two in the chair. And so warrior two is you have your front thigh sitting on the chair and your back leg, so your front foot is facing forward in that direction. Your back foot is facing, so I've got my right foot forward and my left foot behind me and my left foot is facing nine o'clock. Now, if that is uncomfortable, if you don't have that mobility in your hips, then you can bring your legs at 90 degrees. All right, so that is, that's an option. Whichever version, take your arms completely out towards the, uh, away from you, so in opposite directions. All right, and so from here, so you should feel some good opening in your chest but also some good opening in your hips right here from sitting all day. And now with your hands, I want you to flex your fingers up towards the ceiling and now flex your fingers down towards the floor. Let's do that three more times. Flex up and down. So this is good opening for your forearms, especially if you are uh, on a keyboard all day. This can help out a little bit with that carpal tunnel uh, stuff that happens. All right, and take it down. And now you're gonna take a peaceful warrior and so that is reaching your back hand towards your back knee, or if your legs are at 90 degrees, you're just reaching um, in the opposite direction towards the left, and then come back to warrior two. Let's do that two more times, peaceful warrior, and warrior two, and peaceful warrior, warrior two, and extended side angle. Bring your forearm down to your thigh, reach your top arm over your head, and so now you've got one long line from your pinky finger down to your pinky toe. So this is the version if you've got your leg behind you or if you have your leg at 90 degrees, then you're still getting a lot of opening in your side body and in your chest and in your lower back, whichever version that you choose. Stay here for four more counts. One, two, three, four, and then come back to warrior two and we will work our way around in the other direction. All right, so now if you're turning to the left, I've got my left thigh on the chair. It's also an option to do this out of the chair, but I just wanted to show you how you can slow your roll right in your desk chair. Um, so again, you can have your feet at 90 degrees, your leg, I'm sorry, your legs at 90 degrees, or you can have your back leg behind you, push, push down through the blade edge of your back foot your front foot set at um, 12 o'clock and flex and uh, flex up and flex down with your fingers. So you should feel some opening in your forearms from doing this. All right, one more time. Very good. Now extend uh, both fingers long and take a peaceful warrior reaching behind you and then come back to warrior two. Two more times, peaceful warrior. And a warrior two, peaceful warrior, warrior two, and extended side angle. Bring your forearm down to your thigh and reach your top arm over your body. So you can have your legs straight or you can be at that 90 degrees. Use your elbow as leverage to press your knee a little bit further, your left knee a little bit further, th further to the left while you turn your heart up towards the ceiling. And now connect to your breath, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper, even just an inch deeper or a millimeter deeper is deeper. One more breath in and open up and then come back to warrior two and make your way back to seated. And there you have it, a little express desk stretch to help you to slow your roll. All right, I'll see you if you're interested for another technique to slow your roll, doing some breath work. Well, hopefully you found that stretching to be invigorating and restful at the same time. So another way to help you to slow your roll is just really by bringing your attention to your breath. If you're just even noticing that air coming in through your nose and out through your mouth, that is going to help to get you more into the present moment and into your parasympathetic nervous system, which is where you do your better thinking versus your sympathetic nervous system where you're in fight or flight or survival mode. And so, uh, but you can intentionally do some breath work 
uh, one of my favorites is called the physiological sigh that can really get you into that that parasympathetic nervous system quickly. And really, it's just simply a matter of inhaling, really filling up your lungs with air, and then sipping in as much more air as you can, and then exhaling it all out. And so we're going to do three rounds of that. All right, so inhale, sip in a little more air, and let it go. Two more times, inhale. Inhale again, clear it out. Last time, inhale, sip in some more air, and let it go. So that is a great breathing technique that you can do right before you're going into a meeting, right before you're trying to do some heads down work and focused work, or any time that you just feel that you need to slow your roll. That kind of breathing technique can really help you to get more calm. All right. So thank you for joining me. I look forward to the next Express Desk Stretch and having you join me. Take care.